Oh, we're cheersing to the final day here at the Cheltenham Festival. And oh, my goodness, uh, Neil, Megan and I have just loved your company throughout the week. We've <laughs> Not just the company, but everything that comes with your company as well. <laughs> well, I'm glad to oblige. You've had a great week, haven't you, Megan? Absolutely. I've pretty much got drunk and, and filled up in the mornings. It's been fabulous. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting back that a check. That is as honest as I've ever heard <laughs> Megan Nichols in yeah. my life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's been brilliant. But we it's... started, um, you know, kind of the week talking about local produce, but we're kind of going back old school with the Moes, aren't we? We are. We're, we're heading off to Champagne here in the northeast of France. A great place to go and visit, by the way. Great to go and visit Mo and Chandon. Uh, but we are. We're being very classic today. Uh -huh. So we've got the Mo and Chandon Imperial <laughs> and we've got the Rosa. I know you love the rosé, Marion Chandon rosé as well. Rosé is my favourite, I must say. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that, I'm, years, I'm really pleased yeah. to hear that. So we're being very classic, old champagne house, very traditional, and the biggest champagne house, in actual fact. So here we are, it's wonderful. These yeah. are dinky, aren't they? They are. Like, so... um, <laughs> I mean, you, you can see all the selfies, can you, with these little things? <laughs> they have been, read. these got introduced quite a few years ago, but this, at this particular bar, it's the rosé, dinky size, yep. 20 CL, and the white as well. Mm -hmm. They're very popular. It you is like so it. true. They, everyone comes here to the Moe bar and has to take their selfie yeah. with their little Moe bottle. And it's, it's just, it's tradition at Cheltenham, isn't yes. it? If you don't come to the Moe bar and get a selfie, where are you even here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> what that's is a really this great world? <laughs> like, what are we doing wrong? Right, listen, we've had a great week. What about yourself, Neil? What has been, I mean, you've eaten a lot, you've drink a lot. What has been the best thing for you this well, week? Well, we've had a great week from a racing point of view with Fun and Ball Civilla, so that's been brilliant. But also, I really enjoyed the food in 480. I think that whole concept about all the local produce, sustainability, actually, and also the colours of all the dishes. I think it's absolutely sure. fantastic. And I loved that Cheltenham pudding. I thought it was brilliant. So that's been one of my highlights. But also, I have to say, we've, we've had a great time. It seems a long time ago, Megan, going to the Night Timber stand as well. That was brilliant. I know, it does seem a long time ago, doesn't it? We were just saying, you know, the sun's out, it's beautiful, we've got our champagne, just missing maybe a little bit of lobster or caviar <laughs> yeah, or something, yeah, yeah. you know, not fussy, but <laughs> maybe a few requests for you for next year. I'm going to get, it's going to be a long uh, list, that list. We're actually. making a list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that, that's been, a, yeah, that's been a real highlight for me. And I think also... You know, it's been great to just have everybody back in here on course. Hospitality has been brilliant. And I think on a, on a, on a, a more serious note, uh, to be fair, like, I mean, you have to have been the ultimate optimist, actually, if you're involved in hospitality yeah. um, over the last couple of years. Like, I mean, to come back here and see it the way it is, you know, all the fans, all the crowds back, like, it's just such a, a relief, I'm sure, to so many involved. Absolutely, Rachel, because a lot of people, the, the thing is, lots of people left hospitality. They had to get other jobs, and it's been great to see people coming back to, to work back in hospitality and work at Cheltenham. And it's been brilliant, you know, 3,000 people a day working in this. And we've got beautiful weather, thankfully, thankfully for Cheltenham Gold Cup Day, yeah. because that's so important well in terms of the whole experience. And people are going to do loads of selfies here. Yeah. That's for sure, they definitely are. I must say, they've looked after us very well. We have a very large collection of champagne that's been uh, brought out for us. <laughs> yeah. so. Not a bother on you. Yeah, yeah not a bother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Heidi's done a great job for us. She's brilliant. And, and to say as well, you've obviously got the bottles, you've got the magnums as well, which you can get around the course too. So and magnums have got more popular in the restaurants and everything like that so and what, what what's been your highlight of the week what have you tasted or or you know drink wise or eaten wise you'd really like i think Megan? 480 was my favorite yeah the food was absolutely gorgeous it was about quarter past 10 and i was stuffing a brownie <laughs> down me and it <laughs> couldn't have been better yeah, um and there was some gorgeous gin cocktails and stuff up there as well so yeah. for me personally that was my highlight yeah the cotswold gin and that what they were doing there, I think it was fantastic. That bramble gin cocktail yeah, was that delicious. Yeah, that was absolutely fantastic. And Rachel, what about you? Well, the bramble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think that was a big, gin big plus there. No, it's it lovely. But um, I really like the whole um, local produce thing, yeah. I, I, I must admit. And I think when you go to Ireland, all the best restaurants, it's all about, like, you know, the, the Irish beef, you mm. know, all of the, the products that they use. And I think that's kind of, you know, like, why Irish hospitality and, and, and the food is so good, because it is so local. Yeah. I agree with you in actual fact, and that's why it's been a big hit, definitely, and it's going to carry on a run on like that. So, and in terms of racing-wise, what's been your highlight? Oh, uh, do you know, Tiger Roll, actually, <laughs> yeah. even though he didn't win, like, I hey, just, yeah, I just loved it, and I wasn't even here, I was at home, actually, <laughs> yeah. uh, watching it, um, but it was amazing, you know, uh, to see the two of them coming back, like, I don't know if we'll ever see that, oh, in, that... in horse racing again, and what a little legend, he's not like this big, strapping horse, is he? He's not like the most handsome horse you've ever seen, 
mean? Like he's just got this tiny little gritty yeah, determination, and he's, yeah, that 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 wowed me actually, and and his whole career, in fact. Yeah, I think I said that was a real. I agree with you, Rachel. I thought that was an absolutely fantastic moment, and it worked perfectly. And the response from everybody was brilliant. You were at Cheltenham. The Cheltenham crowd really gave Tiger Roll such a great round of applause, and they really saluted him. It was brilliant. What about you, Megan? What's been your racing highlight? I think for me, it has to be Honeysuckle, Rachel Blackmore. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Again, atmosphere was ridiculous. It yeah. was just amazing. I was actually watching it up quite high up in the sands and everyone was just going crazy it was awesome and she had a huge reception like we mentioned earlier the whole way up the walkway back into the parade mm -hmm. ring and winners enclosure i don't think we'll experience anything and that's like what that we again. were lacking you know we talked yeah, about yeah, like you yeah, know yeah, definitely spectators definitely. coming back yes. and fans coming back but as megan says you know for rachel blackmore and, and honeysuckle even oh, the horse like she even she, knew she was coming back to this she's amazing she's reception she's, yeah she's absolutely, she's absolutely brilliant and, and, and it'd be really interesting to watch last year's race versus this year's, this year's race I bet I reckon Rachel Blackman was in exactly the same position coming around the home turn and just she goes it was brilliant it was like so frustrating yeah. people still almost kind of put her down a bit they still doubt it uh, how can you she's unbeaten yeah. how can you doubt her now she's yeah. proven everyone wrong and I think she'll continue to do so oh she's fantastic and I, tell I reckon you, anyone that's doubting her has had too many balls <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll bring the Moe bar yeah yeah we were and that, just going on to today I think Hillcrest, I've been a, I'm a massive Hillcrest fan. I phoned Henry Daly last September and I said, I'm doing my 10 to follow, I'm going to put Hillcrest in. And are we going to see a more spectacular... What did he say when you said that? He said, please do. Okay, he did. Nice. He said, absolutely. Henry's a great guy. Yeah, I really yeah. like Henry Daly. Local. What, local. We're all about local yeah, this abso week. Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, very much so. Uh, but what a great guy. And he said, look, I think that I can't measure this horse, as we well know. Oh, he's so striking. Everybody has to go around the parade ring today Listen, to see him. I think he's probably one of the best looking horses in training, yeah. actually. Oh, he is. Um, one of them. Yeah. Um, whether he'll win today or not, I don't know. I hope so, actually. It'd oh, be yeah, nice for so. the team, wouldn't it? Really nice oh, I think it'd be fantastic. Look at what he's done so far. And again, when he stepped up to three miles last time. OK, the one concern is it was quite a recent race at Haydock, but he still looks like he's got so much ability. Yeah, so I, I think it'd be great. And I'd love to see Henry Daly get another Cheltenham Festival winner. And for the late Mr Trevor Hemmings as well. That, I mean, I, I don't think he, you know, you could sort of get any better than that. A Cheltenham mm. Festival winner, he put so much into the racing. He's obviously had festival winners before, but I think that would be yeah. a pretty good uh, way to finish the festival. I think it would be a fantastic story. We could just talk all day. Yeah, yeah I think we, we could, should have a yeah. cheers. Come on, let's have a cheers, everybody. It's, um, it's been oh, a great week. Absolutely. Come on, everybody. Yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers last everybody. Couple of days, but it, it has been wonderful, really wonderful. Um, Cheers and have a great day. Gold Cup day here at uh, Cheltenham.